Hi guys, Stuart from Solitech. Just wanted to run through a few options with uh, adding dimensions when you're sketching. So I've just created a sketch on front plane. There it is. And I'd like to add some geometry. If we have a look under our options, under our sketch tool options, we've got some options here about being able to create um, dimensions as we, or add dimensions as we start our sketching and type in some values for their size. So I'm going to turn that off to start with just to see what that looks like. And we'll just uh, go OK to that. So if I just start sketching, I'll do a three point corner rectangle as an idea. So starting point, we can see the feedback of the size coming on screen. So about 30 degrees, something like that. And then just drag this up about 40 wide, but no dimensions. We can certainly go in there afterwards and say I'd like to put a dimension on it and start to control what size that is. So we can type in our size, that's going to be 40. This one's going to be 75. So we can get our dimensions. Okay. Now one of the other options we've got, if we just right click on the screen, we get an option here of sketch numeric input. Now that's basically the same as us going to our options and going into a sketch and saying let's enable the numeric input. And we'll just turn that on. So I'll do the same thing again. Let's do a three point corner rectangle, start over here and straight away I'm starting to get a feedback. So I can type in 60, press enter and then start to move my second size and let's try typing 30 and enter. And so we've got the sizes in there. Now if I go and do my smart dimension and put the size on there, you'll see it's automatically got the right value. It's 60 and this one is 30. However, we didn't actually create the dimension as we were typing. So if we go back to our options and go back to our sketch options and turn on create dimension when uh, values are entered, we can go in there, I'll try the same thing again. Let's uh, three point corner rectangle, start my rectangle. There's my size, let's go 65, enter and move over to the side and do this one also 45 and press enter. Now this time it adds the dimensions as well. So you can do your sketch and, and have the sizes and put the dimensions in after. You can do your sketch and add the dimensions um, or add the values but not put the dimensions in. You can do your sketch, add the dimensions and put the dimensions on there at the same time as entering the values. So I hope that helps you understand some of the options you've got available to you. Um, I hope that's been useful. All the best.